Welcome to the Schaefer Method, the guide to your health. This is level five. The five essentials to life. They're food, sleep, water, oxygen, and sunlight. Without them, we are not alive. We don't live. Our planet doesn't even exist. They're very, very important for human life. So they are our five essentials. Now we will touch on exercise and activity also, but they're not nearly as important as the five essentials. On this level, we'll cover most of the five essentials, trying to improve upon them, and then throughout the whole process, we will cover all the five essentials. Who is level five for? Level five is that person that's kind of the, the middle of the road health. Uh, they they've maybe have a level of education, maybe been told some things about health, they watch TV on health, they've consciously made effort to try to improve their health. They, done some fad diet or maybe tried a uh, health plan, uh, maybe got some guidance from a nutritionist or a friend. But also that same person is searching for more health. They're trying to find a better place of what, what's really healthy for them. And my, my goal here is to help them find that and find a better place for them to understand their own health and take charge and responsibility for their own. This level can take one to two weeks. If it takes you longer, that's fine. Take three to four, it doesn't matter. Our goal is to start improving your health and building on uh, this level so that we can continue on the process. Expect to have some changes. Expect doing things a little differently than before. Uh, expect to be challenged. The levels before this, it was progressed a little slower. This level is going to progress this a little quicker. So if you're starting out at this level, then be prepared to make some changes quickly but also expect to make some improvements very quickly. For breakfast, our goal is to reduce processed and packaged foods. Trying to get back to the nourishment of breakfast, get really good hearty foods in our, in, in our diet. Americanized breakfast started about 100 years ago and that's where the cereals and breads and things like that came from. And we really wanna get back to the, 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 the healthy, nutritious foods and as you'll find out very quickly in level one, it's gonna be very nutritious foods, but also you'll see the huge improvement in your energy levels. My goal is also to help you reduce the sugar for breakfast. High amounts of carbohydrates and sugar for breakfast tends to drive us into the ground. We tend to crave more sugar through the day. We also tend not to feel as energized and strong in the morning and for the rest of the day. So it's crucial that we start our day feeling good and strong. So for this whole level, Every day, we're going to want breakfast to be right on. We're going to be focusing on breakfast. Let's make breakfast successful, and let's keep it successful. Now, this also may be a time where we use a protein shake. And I have some few suggestions on my products page for protein shakes. I don't like people to rely on protein shakes all the time, but it can be useful when we're in a pinch. I know life gets busy, and, and this is a good substitute. For you women, women tend to lean towards eggs a lot. Uh, men, they're more open to the other types of proteins, the beef, the elk, the steak, the rabbit, the squirrel, whatever men tend to eat. But also, ladies, it's, this is a good time to have a big old hearty soup. Make a stew or a soup or something that you can have throughout the week. And just make a whole bunch of vegetables and put some protein in it. Put some chicken or beef or fish in the stew or the soup. And this is a good way to have a nice warm meal, get your body nice and warmed up for the day. And, but also get the protein and the vegetables that your body needs. Lunch. Once again, we're going to try to get rid of that processed packaged foods, the quick, easy meals to go. We're trying to reduce the fast foods and get back to a fresh, nutritious lunch. Now, my, my go-to lunch is a salad. Salad with some protein is easy. You can get it anywhere. It's really, you have to have a really big excuse not to get a salad somewhere. But also I want you to keep in mind, we're trying to reduce the processed food, so those little deli meats and things like that, I want you to keep that to the minimum. Try, to, try not to have that very often. Try to stick with a, a more natural piece of meat or proteins. Lunch will be four out of seven days. So four your seven days. And just to be clear, your week starts on whatever day you want to start. If it's Monday, if it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and if you mess up, that's okay. Just start your week over. There's no rush. It's just, let's get four out of those seven days, let's get a good solid lunch. Seven out of seven days, get a good good solid breakfast. Water, by this point, you should be able to have seven out of seven days, all the water that's necessary for your body. 
Now, we don't actually know exactly how much that really is, but we're gonna to start to plan and try to figure out what it is for you. For right now, I have a simple little rule that I follow. Take your body weight, divide it by two, and put it into ounces. That's approximately a good starting point for how much water you need. Now, if it's hot outside or if you're exercising a lot, it might change. It also changes based on how much food you eat. If you eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and soup, you might not need as much water because there's a lot more water in that. If you eat a lot of cooked foods, you might need a little bit more. So this is a guide, it's a general guide, but it's a starting point to get you closer to how much water you need. Water will help increase your hydration, it'll help give you energy, and it also helps reduce the sugary, soft drinks, other drinks that just don't give us as much health. Now, when it comes to water, I really want you to focus on having your water in the middle of the, uh, in between your meals. So try not to drink too much water while you eat. The old saying of drink a glass of water before you eat to eat less, is a bad idea. It helps, it, that reduces your digestive enzymes, it reduces your stomach acid, which ultimately de decreases digestive health and it makes you more, more malnourished and it doesn't give you the proper nourishment from your food. So let's drink our water on an empty stomach in between our meals. Now with that said, also try to drink your water early in the day. I don't want you waking up going to the bathroom because that interferes with sleep, which is one of the five essentials that we're trying to improve. So focus and get your water in early in the day. An easy tip is to have a big glass of water, six to, to 16 ounces of water, first thing in the morning. Put a little lemon juice in it, lime juice in that. Right when you wake up, right before you even, before you even get into the kitchen, have a big glass of water. And wait about 30 minutes and then eat your breakfast. That's a good way to get it started. It's a good way to get hydrated. It's good for your bowel movements. It's good for your energy. Uh, it's just a good way to start your day. All right, sleep. Sleep is crucial. I'm a big fan of sleep, and sleep is important for our recovery of our body. It's it's recovering from from yesterday, and we want to sleep quality. We want to sleep a good amount of time, and we need to make a priority to do that. Now, remember those days when you wake up or you stay up all night and you didn't get any sleep, or you or you you haven't slept well in a few weeks. You just, you wake up a little sore, a little tired. Maybe you you look like you aged overnight, and that's because sleep is helps us keep us young and feeling good and looking good. So sleep is extremely important. I would like for you to shoot for six to eight hours every night, seven out of seven nights. Now, this is a time where maybe your work schedule or life gets in the way and it interferes a little bit. So don't let the hours hold you back, but we're just really trying to improve our sleep and at least give our, our body a chance to get to six to eight hours. If you need eight, go for eight. If you need six, stay with six. Everybody's gonna be slightly different here, but find out what works best for you. Now keep your room as dark as possible. Try to shut your TV off. We don't even have a TV in our room. I won't allow a TV in our bedroom just because I know it interferes with my sleep and it distracts us. It keeps it up later than we really should be up. So keep your electronics down to the low. If you have to turn your alarm clock away from your eyes so it's not blinding you at night, please do that. Also, a little side tip here is try to cut the phones and the computers and the TVs about an hour before you go to bed. Try to get rid of them and let your brain quiet down on its own so that it can sleep well. And for those people that are really struggling with sleep, a good little tip is an Epsom salt bath. Now, on this week, it's, on this level, it's only one. But uh, if you really are struggling with sleep, try it three, four nights in a row. And do it about an hour before you go to bed and uh, two to three cups per bath and just sit there and soak and relax. It'll help get you magnesium and magnesium helps us relax, helps us sleep. Um, it also helps us with bowel movements. So it's a, a little added tip if you have some uh, constipation. And it's a good step of starting to get us improving our sleep. All right, exercise. Now we're up to three days out of the seven. So that's a good amount. It can be exercise or activity, all depending on you. Now, if you exercise more than three days out of seven, uh, then fine, continue to do so. But if you're new at exercise or if you are uh, uh, been exercising for a long time, please watch the video on the exercise library page to make sure that you're starting at the right place. Now, if you've never exercised before, it's okay if you only do the activities, but get out and get your body moving. Start somewhere, start moving your body. The more we sit, the more we don't do, the more we can't do. 
So get your body moving, start doing little by little, and just train your body into moving more so that it becomes new and improved for you. So it just becomes part of your life. Extra effort. Extra effort is one of my favorite things. It's it's about improving ourselves in other ways. And uh, for this level, we're going to be grateful um, as we were in the last level. We're going to keep thinking and feeling about the things that we're grateful for. You can do a grateful log by your bed. You can do a grateful log at work, wherever. Just write down 10, 20 things that you're grateful for. Uh, you can say it over dinner. You just talk about the things you're grateful for. If it's if it's your family, if it's the, the roof over your head, if it's your car, if it's a new job, if it's an old friend, if it's uh, the trip that you took 20 years ago. Just relive and, and think about all the things that are important in your life and appreciate the things that we have. Also at this level, I'm encouraging you to make a new meal. Try something you've never tried before. If it's, a, if, it, if it's an individual piece of food or if it's actually a whole new meal. But this is a great level where I'm gonna encourage you to make a new soup or a stew. I know when our lives are busy, it gets complicated and we don't have time. So we wanna go, we end up grabbing something quick and crappy instead of grabbing something quick and good. So having sewer, soup or stew available at their house the whole day, make a big pot that you have for the whole week. And that way when you have that, you don't have that excuse to go and choose something that is not so good for you because you know you have soup at home that you can warm up in a couple minutes. So I'm encouraging you all to go out there and try some soups and make some stoops. That's uh, hopefully mostly vegetables and protein and uh, good luck with that. Feel free to ask me any questions at any time. I'll get, I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, please finish the entire level five before you move on. Now, like I said earlier on the sleep part, if there's parts of the level where you just, in your life, for some reason, it's just not feasible, don't let that hold you back from moving on. But for the most part, if health is really important, you should be able to accomplish most of the things I'm giving you. But once again, like I said, don't don't let it hold you back if if there is a complication. Think of this process as resetting your default. Right now, you're here because you're trying to improve your health, lose weight, feel better, uh, inspire your family to improve their health. This is your current default right now. This This is where you're at. And if you want to improve where you're at, we need to look at resetting that so that when life gets complicated, in which it always does, something happens, somebody passes away and you have to go on, you have to leave for two weeks to go back home and it gets complicated, we want to make a better default. We want to go back and be able to know that, hey, I just, I'm going to eat this instead of that because this is my new default. And so we don't fall back into those same patterns and same ruts that we did before. Once you complete level five, just go to the bottom of the page, hit level complete, and you can move on to the next level. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at level six.